It is clear from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's first Sherlock Holmes story that he was fascinated with the history of the Mormons, also known as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, headquartered in Salt Lake City, Utah, where the Mormon pilgrims finally ended their search for a place to practice their religion freely. They are famous the world over for the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, for their collection of birth records and genealogical data, and perhaps less so for the fact that the late Howard Hughes, billionaire recluse and erstwhile Hollywood playboy, insisted on Mormons as his personal staff and de facto bodyguards. The role that the Mormons play in our story will be amplified later, for now it is only enough to look at their mysterious origins origins that gave rise to the first Sherlock Holmes mystery. And that's from uh, Sinister Forces, A Grimoire of American Political Witchcraft, Book 1, The Nine, by Peter Lavenda. Fascinating book. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. Um, I just want to say uh, very quickly, t as, a, as a small reminder, uh, like you really need one, and that is to stay focused on the health care and the climate change issues because both of those things are key, critical, and crucial, okay? But I have two things that I want to talk about in this video. One is Dubai. Now, had you looked into this before, which many of you probably have some inkling of what's going on over there, Dubai is pretty much like the uh, the uh, Las Vegas of the of the Middle East okay and it's like uh, it's like 12 times as bad as Las Vegas like Sodom and Gomorrah and lots of rich people and lots of um, incredibly wealthy we're talking about the elites here have uh, property in Dubai and uh, they, they they go there to party to to do whatever it is that they do okay uh, some futuristic cities are planned there and everything else and now we have this uh, debt problem okay in Dubai now the United Arab Emirates which is I guess their overarching federal authority is uh, you know, agreeing to shore up all of the banks in that country, but they're looking at some kind of crushing debt here. But in my view, in my view, this is well orchestrated and planned, and I'll tell you why. Because Dubai is the playground for the fucking elite. And for that reason alone, you can guarantee that whatever happens there is no fucking happenstance. Unless somebody is trying to buy the place fucking outright from the emirs who are fucking running it. So whatever is going on in Dubai is fucking planned. Or at least they know exactly what it is that's going on. And they have it all under control in their own little hands. So I imagine there's going to be some disastrous action in some stock markets, particularly when the Mideast stock markets open. But do not be surprised by this, and certainly do not think that this is just a natural course of this uh, you know, economic disaster that the world is facing, because it's not. And that's because it's in Dubai with all of these rich movers and shakers, the very elite themselves, so deeply involved over there, nothing is happening without them knowing what the fuck is going on. Period. So keep your eye on Dubai, but keep that in mind as you do. The other thing I have to say is this. I haven't heard a lot of people in the investment uh, sector talking about gold in the sense that we're looking at a gold bubble. I would not fucking be surprised if Goldman Sachs is behind the recent rise in gold prices and its continued increase. Need I remind you that gold is no magical item. It is only worth what people are willing to exchange for it. It's not going to save you in any financial crisis. Sure! Having a little bit of gold might be a good idea to hedge your bets on some things. But you know, when push comes to shove, if the dollar were to collapse, do you think that you're going to be able to go down to your local store and buy groceries with a gold coin? Think about it, really. Okay? 
it's my firm belief. It might not be Goldman Sachs, but they are the devil du jour right now. And they run all of the financial fucking shenanigans that go on in this country and probably, you know, most of the world. I wouldn't be surprised if they're behind the current gold bubble. And it's being fueled as well by the economic situation, certainly. But, I'll tell you one thing. Just like the dollar is always talked about over and over again as it's going to fall, it's going to be crushed, it's going to be destroyed, the same exact thing is going to happen to gold. It's only a matter of when. I'm no investment advisor, so do not rely solely on what I say when it comes to any investments. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I just tell you what I think. And I think gold is going to collapse at some point because we're seeing conditions now which are similar to when they were when we were taken off the gold standard and gold plummeted in value. Just bear that in mind. It's coming. That's my view. Take it or leave it. Thank you. Good night.